Hello to all, it's Living the Good Life and I have more estate sale finance videos for you. And I have been to a whole bunch of estate sales this week. I just really, we just wanted to get out and about. So the, my friend and I went to several sales and we found one that was a private estate sale. But it's just so funny how you can even go to, to company run estate sales and still find a hidden treasure because if they have sterling at a sale, there's bound to be something that they missed. So let's have a look at everything. So the first sale we went to, um, couldn't find anything except useful stuff. So in the pantry, we just dug around for quite a while. I got this Filippo Berrio um, olive oil for two, uh, $3. I got the black tea. I don't know, Signature Select. I guess that's kind of a Safeway, or, or is that Kroger or something? Whatever that is, Safeway branded store. Uh, the Pam was a dollar. I got four cans of albacore tuna, 75 cents each, some Rotel for 50 cents, olives 50 cents, cornstarch a dollar. Um, they had a bunch of the Clorox disinfecting wipes. Remember when you couldn't get those in 2020? $1.50, it's some stainless steel cleaner. I got uh, three taco seasonings for a dollar, uh, some night light bulbs, and then pick this up, some Aveeno that my sister-in-law had been trying to find for $2, and this dishwasher cleaner for 25 cents. Then, uh, went to an estate sale. They had an entire, um, well, let me put it this way. It was really cold that day, so I um, had a doctor's appointment. I thought, oh, I'm not gonna be able to make it, but then I thought, just get around, go down there, spend 15 minutes, you never know what you're gonna find. I pull up, they let everybody in five minutes early, and I could see the line going in the house as I pull up, and I run over there, I go in. Everybody was mobbed around the jewelry. They were giving uh, numbers, so I had to get a number. I was like, number nine, you know. So the chances of finding anything good was not so wonderful. I looked over there. They had an, a set of sterling, but not in the box, for $800 <laughs> that was out. So I wandered into the master bedroom, and I saw this sitting on a shelf in the bookcase in the bedroom. And I picked it up and I turned it over. Sterling, Kirk and Son Sterling, $6. No problem whatsoever. And one of the other guys that I see all the time, he had something that I'm pretty sure was Sterling too that they had missed. So um, I got this for $6. This one, I finally got to the to case this was uh, in there. I went ahead and got it. It was twenty dollars, and I'm thinking, did this not met? Um, did this not match? You know, the sterling set that they were, um, you know, trying to sell. This weighs ninety six grams, so based on twenty three dollars uh, for sterling and at eighty percent of value, this was. Well, I forgot now. Uh, I think it's $52, so and I paid six. This weighs 57 grams, so I was I kept feeling it. When you buy sterling, you really gotta make sure at $20, you know, that's getting really close to the, the amount for an ounce, but you're pretty safe when it comes to serving pieces because they weigh a lot more. Usually they weigh close to two, so that was what happened there. So that was $32 is what that's worth. And let's see if there's anything else that I got there. No. Um, then um, went to a sale and really there was some um, cruel work. It was eight dollars. Mm, didn't really know that I wanted that. But I saw these. Three for a dollar. Picked it up. Nothing. Picked it up. You might not be able to see but this uh, says nothing. But then I picked this one up. Let me see if I can find it again. And it's really mess, really dirty there. I don't know if you can just see where it says sterling. I kept looking at it and looking at it. Went up and paid my ten dollars. That one weighs um, seventy-seven grams, so it's worth about forty-two dollars. And I paid ten dollars for the three. So that's all I got at that sale. Then we ran down to a family-run sale, and. It was so cold. I had my scarf wrapped around my head, and my goodness. Um, they finally got everything ready and let us in about 15 minutes early, and I went straight over to the jewelry, 
I got this sterling necklace. And you'll see it says sterling right there. And then I found this ring. And I was hopeful. I had the entire ring box in my hand. And I was over at the light, the kitchen sink, just trying to see if what these were. And it says, whoops, it says 18 karat G-E-R-S-C. I thought it said G-E-R-S-O. I wish I had taken the time to look that up. Because it's like gold electroplated over copper or something. Thank goodness I didn't pay what they were asking. They were saying $10 a piece for jewelry. So that would have been 10 plus the necklace was 20 and then the pitcher, which this is that colonial blue, um, oh gosh, it, I just completely, you know, star, um, completely went blank. Stars and Ellie Smith um, pitcher. And I got those for $10 for all three of them. So um, that is a really neat thing. Those are really popular right now. And it's such a pretty color. And let's see what else. This, like I said, turned out to be nothing. But, you know, you got to try sometimes. But, and it was this really that, that I think, oh, it's bound not to be. These just don't look right. These little inset on the side. And, you know, so. And that looked a little too clear, but who knows. Uh, went to another sale. I had to ask. It was a one day only. All the mugs were 50 cents. So I love drinking my tea in these uh, uh, little, you know, tourist mugs. All from um, England, Hampton Court, and different places around London. Here's a Queen Victoria one. I need some from France and Italy, too, because I like going there. Um, and then out in the garage, there was like a shelf of Bath and Body Works, and I really just wanted the uh, shower gel. So I got those for a dollar a piece, and then the candles were two dollars a piece. So here's a Yankee candle, fruit smoothie, and here's one that says apple clove. They both smell really good and then I wanted to show you again I, this is also what I got during 2020 out in the alleys when I was walking people were cleaning out and just throwing stuff out for trash collection day and this is a 1980s original piece of art and it was free so not really my kind of thing but you know I hate to just see you know original art thrown away just because somebody doesn't want it and and there wasn't anyone to donate it to at that time because all the all the uh, thrift stores and donation centers were closed. So I hope you enjoyed seeing everything. Let me know if you have any information on it. And uh, I would love to hear from y'all. And I would really appreciate your subscription. Take care. Bye-bye.